Creating a wildfire rich grassland requires annual mowing at the end of the summer and removing the cut vegetation. This is known as cut and collect and it's the way that traditional hay meadows have been managed for centuries. If not cut, grasses and tough plants like nettles will crowd out more delicate wildflowers. If uncut for several years, the grassland will begin to turn to scrub. Cutting annually prevents coarse grasses from becoming too dominant and creates space for more wildflowers to grow. Make sure to leave areas uncut along hedges or in corners. This creates areas of refuge for hedgehogs, slowworms and insects to overwinter. It's important to remove the arisings from mowing. Removing the cuttings stops them adding nutrients back into the soil when they decompose. The dead vegetation also smothers the ground, stopping new wildflowers from growing. In nutrient-rich soil, vigorous grasses and tough plants outgrow all the others. Without removing the nutrients, your road verge or immediate grass will just keep growing taller. It's best to begin your cutter collect in late summer and into autumn. That's when most insects have finished their life cycle and flowers have begun to set seed. Some species will still be flowering into the autumn, so stagger your cutting time, avoiding areas with late flowering species. Further cuts can be taken until early spring if the grass is growing throughout the autumn and winter. Using a range of machinery and equipment, small residential verges and large open spaces can be managed effectively. Large areas can be cut with a tractor and flail, with the cutting baled or collected afterwards. In residential areas, small machines can cut and collect in one go and then be tipped into a trailer to be taken away. On steep slopes, using cut and collect machinery can be difficult. However, there are machinery that can mow slopes and small areas can be cut with a strimmer and the arising break down to the slope to be removed. Cutting should be taken away and disposed of as green waste, which can be composted. If you're unable to remove cuttings from your site, you can dispose of small amounts in discrete piles along hedgerows and banks. We can also use the vegetation cut from our verges and green spaces as a source of bioenergy through a process called anaerobic digestion. This is part of our strategy to combat climate change, along with the carbon we're storing in the roots of our grassland. We're investigating how we can manage our grasslands in a carbon negative manner, whilst providing biodiversity and creating renewable energy from the green waste we create. If we can achieve this, then not only are we helping combat the biodiversity crisis, but helping fight climate change too. Cut and collect is the most important way we can manage our green spaces for biodiversity. By cutting and collecting over several years, wildflowers become more abundant and the area more attractive.